Hi, I'm Rachel Greninger with Red Carpet Report, and tonight we're at the Ace Eddie Awards honoring the best editors of the year. Hi, Hi. I'm Rachel. How are you? Very good, thanks, Stephen. Good. Well, first of all, congratulations on being Appreciate nominated it. for tonight. Thank you. And um, I did have a question. Is you worked on Birdman too, correct? Of course, yeah. So, had you worked on anything like that before, um, or was Birdman sort of your first jump into Alejandro's world no, in I've the done, straight shot? No, no, no. I've done all of Alejandro's movies, oh, and. Okay. Uh, he has been over the years doing more and more uh, what these continuous long takes, right? He's and and we've been incorporating them more and more. But this was the first time with Birdman that he jumped in and and was really committed to whatever we do. It's got to work in the movie. Versus before, if we tried something and it didn't work, you cut it cut it up and it's fine. So the f kind of flipping the uh, process on its head, uh, essentially making a lot of the editorial decisions uh, in rehearsal st process and, and while they were shooting, um, that was completely different for all of us, you know. I mean, certainly uh, Emmanuel Lebesky and Alfonso Cuaron had, had also been doing similar things, but this was just a leap to do the whole movie in one take and really commit to that. And editorially... Yeah, how does that differ? It's a big deal. It's a big deal because normally an editor has complete flexibility and freedom after the shoot is done to change anything, really. You can change the point of view of a scene. You can change whether a scene uh, is happening quickly or slowly, what the focus of the scene is. With this, we had to make all those decisions, and Alejandro had to be confident and happy with those decisions while we were shooting, and that was really, that was really incredible. And then we were able to take a lot of that and apply that to what we did on The Revenant. And the difference with The Revenant is we had a lot of those Birdman-esque moments, those choreographed moments, but then, of course... It was broken up. There was still a lot of those improvisational scenes, scenes where, you know, we were working with 200 hours of footage, so it, it, was, it was quite a tremendous amount of work to get it all together. So when you got that much remaining footage, uh, I mean, do you put out an alternate take? I mean, what do you do as an editor? Is it sad to see I it all get it lost? Just for me. I don't share it with anybody. Yeah, exactly. You keep all this everything. I, that, you know, it, it really is the kind of thing where you look at it and think, oh, if only they could, somebody could put that out for everybody to see. But, you know, it just, it, 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 it evaporates. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Well, congratulations and have a great rest of the evening, Thank sir. Okay. Much. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And if you've liked what you've seen here, you can hit like, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me what your favorite movie and TV show was this year. We got a lot of nostalgia going on, so I'm expecting some good stuff come 2016.